My math topic today is about equations involving rational expressions. I am here, number 1, y over 9 minus 2 over 5 is equal to 1 over 3. Now, I have here 9 and 5. So, I have to find the LCD between 9 and 5. So, to find the LCD between 9 and 5, I just multiply 9 by 5. So, that will be equal to 45. Next is 45 divided by 9. That is equal to 5. And then, I have to multiply by y. So, I have here 5y. And then, copy the operation, which is the subtraction. And then, 45 divided by 5. That is equal to 9. And then, multiply by 2. So, I have 18 is equal to 1 over 3. Next thing to do is I have to cross multiply this one. So, between 5y minus 18 times 3. So, I have here 3 times 5y minus 18. Next is I have to multiply also this one. Cross multiply 45 and 1. So, I have 45. I have to divide this one by 3, both sides. Cross out. So, 5y minus 18 is equal to 45 divided by 3 is equal to 15. So, 5y. Next thing to do is copy this 15 and then transpose minus 18 to the right. When we transpose minus 18, this will be changed to positive 18. So, I have here 5y is equal to 15 plus 18 is equal to 33. Then, I have to divide by... 5 both sides to solve the value of y. So, I have now y is equal to 33 over 5. I need to check if my answer is correct. So, to check this y equals 35, I have to use the given equation. I will replace y is equals 35 in the given equation. So, 33 over 5 over 9. Then minus 2 over 5 is equal to 1 over 3. So to solve this complex fraction, I need to copy the numerator which is 33 over 5. And then I have to change this division operation to multiplication. Then I need to put 9 by 1. Then I have to take the upside down which is 1 over 9. Then I have to need to copy 2 over 5 is equal to 1 over 3. Since I have 33 and 9, I need cross cancellation. In cross cancellation, I need to divide this one by 3. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 33 divided by 3 is equal to 11. And then I have to multiply 11 times 1. That will be equal to 11. And then multiply 5 times 3. That will be equal to 15. Then I need to copy this operation, which is subtraction. And then the next fraction will be 2 over 5 is equal to 1 over 3. Now, 15 and 5. So what is now the LCD between 15 and 5? So that is 15. So 15 divided by 15, that is equal to 1. Then multiply by 11, 11. Copy the operation. And then 15 divided by 5. That is equal to 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then copy 1 over 3. So what is 11 minus 6? So that is 5 over 15 is equal to 1 over 3. So I need to reduce this fraction by dividing by 5 numerator and the denominator. So 5 divided by 5 that is 1. And then for the denominator 15 divided by 5 that is equal to 3. So, I have now one-third is equal to one-third. So, therefore, my answer is correct for number one. Now, let's go to number two. Now, my number two is, the equation goes 11 minus 4x over 3 is equal to 2x. Sorry, that is x over 2. So, I need to put one in here. So, to find the LC between one and three, I need to Multiply 1 times 3, that will be equal to 3. 3 divided by 1, that is equal to 3. Then multiply by 11. So, I have here 33. Then copy the operation. 3 divided by 3, that is equal to 1, times 4x. So, that is 4x. Then just copy this one, x over 2. 
So next, I have to cross multiply this one. So I have here 2 times 33 minus 4x is equal to cross multiply. So this one, 3x. Now this one, I need to distribute. 2 times 33 is 66. Then copy the operation. 2 times 4x, that will be 8x. And then just copy 3x. Next is just copy 66 and then copy 3x. This negative 8x will be transposed to the right and this will be changed to positive. That will be 8x. So 66 is equal to what is 3x and 8x? So this will be 11x. Then I need to divide the numerical coefficient of my x, which is 11, both sides. Then cross, cancellation. So I have here x. What is 66 divided by 11? That is equal to 6. The value of x is equal to 6. But we need to check by substituting the, val the value in the given equation. So I have here 11. So I need to substitute x equals 6. So 4 times 6 over 3 is equal to x is equal to 6 over 2. So 11. So I need to divide by 3. That is equal to 1. Divide by 3. That will be equal to 2. And then 4 times 2. That will be 8. Then this will be equal 6 divided by 2. That is equal to 3. What is 11 minus 8? That is equal to 3 is equal to 3. So therefore, my answer is correct. X equals to 6. That's all.